Hi, one week ago I've cleaned the EGR and the throttle body of the Skoda Octavia Mark II 1.9 TDI uh, 4x4. So since then I've done 163 miles and you will see soon how they, they look after this amount of driven miles. So now I plan to to remove the intake manifold as well and clean it and if I have enough time I will clean the turbo as well uh, but until then I will uh, mount the I will retrofit the cruise control stock Okay, so now that the airbag is out, you just need to find that white clip and pull it. To remove the steering wheel, you need a, a spline tool. The size is 12. You have a mark here and when you put the nut back you have to align the mark and also remember how many turns does it take you to to remove the nut because you have to do the same amount of turns when you tighten the nut this is the nut so you, you also have a mark here, you need to align this as well. Now I'm just gonna take the steering wheel out. So after you remove the steering wheel, you have to go under the steering column and you will see this screw here you have to remove it is a T25 And that's the only screw apparently. Yep. After you remove the screw you just wiggle this a bit and it should come off by itself. Okay, you also have two screws here. Also T25. So when you're at this stage, you will need the T8. To remove the steering wheel controller box. To remove the steering wheel controller, I'm not sure if you can see, you're definitely not able to see, but here in the back, there is, if you put your finger in, finger in, you can uh, feel like a clip there, so you just press it. And 
the control box will just come down. And there's one more clip which is somewhere here. You need to put a sharp screwdriver. And thin. Mine is not that thin. I will try with this. So you just slide it in and try to that. So this is the the clip you want to remove. still have a connector in the back there but I don't need to remove it at least not not now now the next thing you want to do is to remove the slip ring carefully not to damage it And now you you just remove your uh, stock and replace it with a new one. So to remove the stock, you have a clip here. To remove the stock, you have to put a bit of effort into it, like pull it a bit harder. Sorry for the shaky video. It's clipped in there. Okay. Now everything is just the other way around. So one mistake I've made um, earlier in the video was that I, I've clipped the controller, the steering wheel controller box uh, before man mounting the slip ring. I just haven't recorded. I've unclipped the, the controller, then mounted the slip ring, then put the controller back. When you mount your steering wheel, you have to to align these two marks. So as you can see, they are aligned. I can just lock it. So I can put the nut back. Thread it in just a bit so it won't fall off. And now use the spline tool.
to mount the airbag back and you need to So it will just clip back in. As I said, it's hard to do it with one hand and... I mean, it's hard to record and do it in the same time. Now just press. Well, make sure it's aligned. I will do it and I'll show you after. Okay, so now we have everything in place. I will go and connect the battery and then I will use the VCDS to activate it. So first of all, you need to go under the steering wheel and then if you go to fault codes, you will see control module incorrectly coded. So you go to coding on the sixth digit, you will see here which is one now, but you'll have to to modify it to four with board computer and with cruise control system. And if you have the multifunction steering wheel retrofitted, you'll need to modify this as well. But uh, probably I'm gonna do that in the future, just not now. Okay, coding accepted. Uh, no worries about this now you go to engine and you go under coding 2 and you type 11463 do it. You'll see this message and you're done. Okay, so this is to test it. As you can see the, the light is on, so that means it's working.